Advisory Board, I'm Shivani Gharat. Tire maker Seat just announced a significant shift in its communication identity and strategy. The new strategy positions Seat as the ideal companion for exploration. This approach aligns with the shift being witnessed towards all-terrain vehicles and high-performance off-road bikes as well as the growing interest in travel and discovery. As a part of the newly launched campaign, Seat also leveraged its decade-long association with Tata IPL Strategic Timeout to deliver its brand message. To tell us more today, we are joined in by Lakshmi Narayanan B, Chief Marketing Officer, Seat. Lakshmi, welcome to CNBC TV 18. Thanks a lot and glad to be back to Storyboard. Great. Uh, Lakshmi, let's uh, just start off this conversation and straight off the bat, tell us about your new communication strategy uh, and the reason behind the shift. I think the first piece is, uh, Seat has always traveled the journey along with consumers. We see Indian consumers evolving very significantly and very fast. Mm -hmm. So as a brand, we would like to take the journey along with them and uh, the evolution of consumers and consequently the evolution of communication strategy of Seat as well. So crafted for curious, tell us how did you arrive upon this? I think uh, uh, the starting point again was the mindset. Uh, today you see that Indians have shifted towards an explorer mindset. Hmm. And that's about wanting to travel, wanting to discover more. Uh, discover more again falls in two spaces. One of course is the vehicle, right? I mean the vehicles are far more powerful, they're SUVs, they're four by fours in many cases. Hmm. Also it's about the journey itself. Hmm. Uh, from uh, the earlier time, at least uh, let's say four or five years back, uh, the radius of travel has uh, literally doubled Hmm. And, you know, when you compare it uh, uh, from a willingness to travel point of view, and that's a big shift, which hmm. means people are willing to kind of explore hidden gems in the country. Hmm. And the entire Crafted for Curious is centered around that particular world. Yes, and you are also engaging, uh, you know, with a lot of influencers, uh, you know, for this uh, strategy and communication yes. shift, who also speak largely about hidden gems. You know, we've seen it very often on social media. Yeah. So tell us your strategy there. In an experiential zone, we believe in three worlds the world of exposure, the world of access, hmm. and clearly the world of experience. Hmm. Uh, what we are right now, the campaign does, is create a world of exposure. Hmm. That leads across to an access, hmm. which, uh, you, know, you know, if you were to scan the QR code, you will land up into a completely new reveal of what that place is, and not just that place, but many more hidden gems. Sure. I think that's the access point. And as a brand, we would want more and more people to experience that particular journey. So that's yeah, in short. Yeah. And through the influences, you are encouraging them to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, clearly, we have seen a shift from just, uh, uh, you know, the commuter segment to going much beyond that. And uh, of course, uh, your new uh, strategy is in line with that. Uh, what are some of the other opportunities in the tyre market that you want to or look forward to tapping into? Last time we spoke, you had spoken about, uh, you know, the increased uh, interest. Mm -hmm in purchasing EV vehicles and that's something very interesting for uh, Seattle. So tell us more. So I think the first and foremost piece is uh, EV is an evolving space. Hmm. And uh, I think one of the things that Indian consumers really want is they want really a lot of power with the vehicle uh, to accomplish their aspirations and their dreams. And clearly EV while is an emerging segment, we see the emergence of let's say a four by four in SUVs world hmm. as well as in, in, in the two wheeler space you have a lot of powerful bikes coming in. The amount of launches that's happened in the last couple of years, or for that matter, even the interest that consumers are showing towards, let's say, dirt biking as a category, mm. is increased significantly. And over the last two years, our focus has been to kind of ensure that the product is at the center. We've kind of enhanced the product range, but we intend to do so much more in the next coming few quarters. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you know, to kind of deliver a certain dream, you also need products to kind of deliver that kind of promise. Sure, sure. And uh, of course, uh, you know, your media investments mm. is in line with that, with, uh, you know, sporting associations yes. uh, that Seat has been doing. Uh, last year, uh, you were also on board uh, WPL. Yes. So tell us more, how do they work for your brand? Uh, I think the... Uh, We've been associated with, uh, with, with the IPL, as in mm. the league, for more than a decade now. Uh, we started off with a strategic timeout. We then extended it to the Tata WPL as well. Uh, what works for us clearly is the saliency. I think in this category, you need to be kind of really be available for the consumer as top of the mind. Mm. And what this investment, sport investment does is kind of bring that on top. Uh, we also have a credibility over the last decade, uh, literally two decades, in terms of CR cricket rating. That kind of enhances our presence in cricket. And cricket is not just a world of sporting investment, it's also from the heart. Hmm. I think right from, you know, the earlier generation, it's been something that's been coming straight from the heart in terms of investment. And that's why the association keeps growing. 
been the investment on uh, let's say the Tata IPL or for that matter even on bats yeah. that kind of continues. So how does Seat look at itself today? Do you look at and you know go ahead with your marketing strategy as a B2C company? Absolutely. We are a B2C company and we would like to kind of absolutely work in that space. Going ahead, we would want to be someone uh, as a brand, we share a passion with the consumer. Hmm. And that's what we want to bring to the uh, front. And that's the entire essence of this campaign. Hmm. If you look at Crafted for the Curious, uh, it's the curiosity mindset. We come from an industry which, you know, at the end of the day, the fundamental human species evolved because of the, the way wheels got invented. And we luckily are in the same industry. So uh, coming from that world, I think Crafted works beautifully for the curiosity world. Yeah. Crafted is about the fact that these tires are completely made for the kind of vehicle that you drive, for the kind of journey that you want to take. We have seen how suddenly everyone is very brand conscious uh, today when it comes to the vehicles that they drive. But how brand conscious is the consumer of today? Since you call yourself a B2C company, how brand conscious is the consumer of today when it comes to their choice of mm. tires? Okay, so uh, I would say the industry is in a point of inflection. Yeah, first and foremost, uh, from a world where mileage was important, warranty was important, today consumers do talk up a lot about noise, hmm. about speed rating, about capability of handling all terrain. Uh, I think this is a fantastic shift. The brand which speaks most about this to consumers will win the battle. Okay, and you know, of course, uh, uh, some of them would be asking these questions at dealerships when they yes. are going for the purchase. So, what are some of the common questions that these dealerships get when it comes to what tire is there on that particular vehicle? Have you have you spoken uh, to these dealers? So, I think uh, uh, I think a beautiful piece. What we're working on is not just the brand campaign; hmm. it's also at the channel level. Because a lot of conversations from the consumers happens directly with the dealer. Hmm. The more the dealer is able to educate consumers, I mean, to give you a very simple example, stone ejection is something which is very, very important when you actually move between on-road and off-road. Hmm. Right? The more you talk about how the pattern is built hmm. or how the tire is built for it, I think that's the journey which a consumer would love to kind of hear. Hmm. Because for him or for her, it's, it's, it's about moving from, let's say, a destination to another. But what challenges come across, only the dealer or the channel would be in a position to kind of explain it. And I think the moment the brand does it, we would have more of the uh, uh, brand being uh, uh, very relevant. And today, explorers especially, mm -hmm. today are very conscious about it. You do get a lot of questions at the channel, especially when it comes to that kind of people, that kind of consumers who are interested and who have the interest to also know about things because they want the right thing for their vehicle. Yeah, and then on that note, how important is, uh, you know, the dealer education for a uh, company like SIA? Do you invest uh, enough time and effort and money in, uh, like, you know, connecting and building those relationships with your dealers? Absolutely important. And in mm. fact, uh, we had a recent launch uh, of a motorcycle steel radial. And the more we educated about, let's say, the cornering capability of tires, right? Mm about the quantum of grip that one needs to have, right, before taking that particular turn or let's say a cornering, that education actually is very, very critical. And we see that to be very important. Today, you know, an off-roading capability in a cross drive or let's say the uh, uh, ultra high performance in a sport drive, all of this need to be spoken of. And that's one of the important goals that we have. It's not just the shift in brand, but it's also the channel. Great. So those are two, you know, I would say two key pillars for us to kind of shift the imagery of the brand. Sure, sure. And what are some of the key trends that are, you know, industry trends that are shaping your strategy as a marketer? Lakshmi? I think the first and foremost piece is uh, the love for the vehicles has increased in India. Mm. And the amount of knowledge that's there about the vehicles has significantly gone Grown, up. Yeah. And I think that's at a fundamental level. Uh, what's also happening is there are a lot of micro segments which are evolving mm. and these micro segments are literally the, the testimony to how India as a country is evolving and these two things are working beautifully for us. Tell us more about these micro segments if uh, you may. Clearly one of the pieces that's kind of emerging is the uh, emergence of super bikes, mm. right? Amount of care that one needs to kind of take to kind of, of maintain. Bikes, yeah. yeah, it's pretty high. Yeah. Uh, I spoke of dirt biking. Yeah. Uh, you'd be enthused at the fact that, you know, do you have more than about a lakh odd average enthusiast who are in this space hmm. and uh, when we kind of launched uh, an experiential uh, you know property like an enduro track hmm. we were surprised at the kind of support and the kind of uh, you know enthusiasm people showed towards that primarily led towards the fact that they don't have an access point today there is an access point and there is an opportunity to experience it so these micro segments you know it's it's a beautiful story for the country it is the emergence of something new uh, people are not just doing it for commute it is about something that they want to kind of pursue
hmm. not just as a profession but probably as a passion as well yeah, yeah and tell us more about how will your ad spends be going hmm. forward in the next couple of months uh, i think clearly right now our hmm. focus is on building exposure so we are going to focus largely on mass media and definitely when it comes to access digital works better because if you want to discover some hidden gems i will need to talk about it at length digital works far better for us but the majority is going to be on mass media great thank you so much thanks for joining us today thank you on that note it is time for a short break you don't go anywhere we will be right back Welcome back. Cement brand Bangur Cement will donate more than 5 lakh kilos of cement as a part of its Wood Solid Desh Solid campaign. The announcement came in this week and it also underscores the success of their campaign which was aimed at encouraging citizens to vote in the 2024 general elections. As a part of the campaign, Bangur Cement had launched Vote Ka Vachan initiative encouraging citizens of India to pledge their vote for every pledge received bangur cement committed to donate 1 kg of cement for social welfare purposes joining us to speak about this special initiative we have shushrut pant head of marketing bangur cement shushrut welcome to cnbc tv 18 thank you shubhai and what a wonderful initiative we were just speaking and you're just back from udaipur uh, donating uh, the first batch to a tribal village uh, near uh, the city of udaipur tell us more uh, about this and tell us more about the over all initiative right you know, so uh, as a cement brand right uh, we naturally feel invested in the progress of the country right our our motto is uh, solid ghar sirf bangar so during this election we felt this was the perfect opportunity hmm. to take our message further and wider uh, and the real thought was that just like you make your home solid with bangar you can make our nation stronger with your vote hmm. and that's where came the idea of 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 vote solid desh solid and as part of of this campaign uh, we wanted to involve the people of our country very directly hmm. and uh, we launched this initiative called vote ka vachan hmm. where we have uh, uh, on our own website and also in partnership with network 18 on their website uh, we have a booth where people can go and take vote ka vachan yeah. and for every vachan uh, we will we have promised to donate 1 kg cement for social welfare sure. right uh, as of today morning we have received 6 and a half lakh pledges six and on a half our, lakh pledges, pledges wow. online right we have we have connected to hmm. more than 60 million people on social media and again crores and crores of people through mass media wonderful yesterday was a very special day uh, where Bangar kept its pledge in return of the pledge of the citizens yeah yeah right and we made the first lot of donations hmm. in the villages of uh, Onkar and Sheshwi hmm. near Udaipur uh, the recipients were 11 tribal families yeah. uh, who are now moving from mud houses to solid pakka houses uh, with the bangar cement uh, that we provided to them so yesterday we had uh, these families hmm. the panchayats the villagers all aggregate uh, in the village site uh, and where our team went and i personally was there and we handed over the first lot of cement to them so overall what has been your media strategy around uh, this campaign yeah. shivani our media strategy is simple follow the consumer yeah yeah so our consumer profile yeah right is are the home builders hmm. right and and typically uh, these are males right hmm. 30 to 55 years old uh, their top interests are news movies and sports hmm. right and we are following them over there right uh, our brand endorser is is mr sunny deol yes. right who brings uh, a great image of be of solidity and trust right and that also connects goes and connects with the movies interest that our our consumers have but the biggest genre that they consume is news and with elections the news consumption has gone through the roof so we have a uh, a very intense participation in news hmm. we have a very special uh, content and media partnership with network 18 hmm. as i said but we are also present in all the other top news channels uh, we are present in the 
movie channels. Uh, so these are the two genres that we focused during the election season. Sure. Uh, but apart from that, of course, we are we have an interest and and we would soon be having presence uh, in terms of sports as well. So uh, Shri Cement has gone uh, gone through a significant brand revamp with Bangar as the master brand now. Uh, tell us what was the thought behind it and how was it implemented? In January this year, hmm. we consolidated all our product offerings under the Bangar master brand. Hmm. Our company name continues to be Shri Cement, so that remains our corporate identity. Our customer-facing offerings hmm. are all under Bangar Master Brand. Sure. The purpose of doing this was to focus on one brand hmm. and make it a mega brand in the market. Shri Cement has been a very successful organization, hmm. right? And we've succeeded with the three-brand strategy. So this change was a very proactive step to unlock the next wave of growth through brand building. Hmm. With one Bangar master brand, we have also retained a brand architecture hmm. where our previous brands are still available as different product offerings all under the umbrella of the Bangar master brand. And I would say we've got, gone off to a big start. Uh, we've already had two mega campaigns after the Bangar master hmm. brand. We started with the uh, the solid uh, ghar sirf bangar campaign and then we followed it up with a vote solid desh, desh solid, solid campaign. campaign like i said we've got uh, more than 60 uh, million uh, uh, you know uh, uh, representative of people following us on sure. social media uh, we've got uh, you know we've we've got our, our, our distribution into more than 50000 outlets so it's been a great start in fact in just the first couple of months hmm. we are seeing very significant improvement in terms of our brand awareness and our brand consideration. Great. And on that note, Shushrut, I'm curious to know what is the role of branding and marketing in a category like cement, which is so commoditized and, uh, you know, industrialized? Well, I had the same perception before I actually joined the cement <laughs> industry. I have a lifetime of FMCG experience. Yeah. But when I joined cement, I found that to be a fascinating category. Sure. There are three uh, big customer segments in cement. Hmm. The biggest segment is what we call the independent home builder. Hmm. People who build their own houses, hmm. people who invest their life savings hmm. into building their dream house themselves, hmm. right? Uh, uh, th these are the majority of the Indians, just you know, in tier one, tier two cities, people tend to build their own houses. And this is actually the biggest segment. Hmm. <laughs> there are other segments like the, the industrial segment or the institutional segment. Hmm. Government is also hmm. a, a big customer. But the biggest segment is the independent home builders. And for them, brand really matters. And it is this segment that we want to unlock. And therefore, brand building is required just like it is any category. Because it is a human being who is putting trust in a product for a very high stakes activity of home building. Yeah. And that's why brand building is very essential and rewarding in this category. The other thing which happens is that if you build the brand for the independent home builder, hmm. that has a halo effect on the institutional sector and the public work sector. So that's why brand building is important. However, the way one needs to do brand building is very extensive. Yeah. It's not just How about... How different? How different is it? Because, you know, like if you see, and because you mentioned FMCG, yeah. of course, with a something like milk, like all milk is the same. Yeah. So that's where value addition and premiumization comes in FMCG. So how different is it for cement when I would it comes say it's, to it's brand building? Similar as well as similar. different, right? Yeah. How it is similar is that Ultimately, a brand represents a proposition. Sure. A brand represents the benefit. Hmm. What is it that it will hmm. do for the consumer, hmm. right? And like any uh, any category, even in cement, that question has to be answered, right? And uh, so that's one. The second thing is that uh, ultimately, the in like in any category, the consumer does not go and perform technical tests and evaluation. The, the way a B2B B customer does. Yeah. So for them, what's important is that they should be able to trust the brand emotionally. Hmm. There should be positive word of mouth about the brand. Hmm. The, the, also, the brand should simplify what it stands for, right? Hmm. It should simplify complexity for the consumer. Hmm. So that's the part that is similar, you know, to FMCG or any other category. Where I would say 
cement branding goes lot more hmm. is in actually partnering with the consumer during their home building journey hmm. and hand holding them and providing them services hmm. as well as interactive opportunities for decision making home building is a complex process usually when the home builder jumps into it hmm. he does not have any idea how complex and and sort of per perseverant it's going to be yeah. and therefore through our technical services through our online initiatives through our call centers we make it easier for consumers to get to know more about cement and to be able to make the right decisions great great uh, we have seen uh, that you know over the past couple of years how india is developing you know there is tremendous potential uh, for growth when it comes to infrastructure uh, you know in the country and we have seen that you know new uh, like flyovers and bridges and coastal roads coming in cities like uh, mumbai and overall in tier 2 tier 3 markets even uh, smaller towns and rural india there is a lot of construction work that is happening how is shri cement partaking in this potential for growth that india has seen there are i would say there are two aspects to it sure one is the the infrastructure that that is led by public works hmm. right and so you see all the roads railways projects uh, and several other projects that are going on and we are participant in that right hmm. as one of the top cement manufacturers, manufacturers in, in the, the country, country. we are uh, supplying for for those purposes the second is the work that's happening at a small scale but a very wide scale right so all the the private hospitals schools hmm. that are made by individual parties hmm. uh, that are facilitated through small contractors shri cement is very very active in that uh, we have our nose to the ground we hmm. have a lot of these connections at the ground level Hmm. through our network and through our channel hmm. and that has been one of our historical strengths hmm. to have very very strong connections at the ground and through these activities we are also participating in infrastructure building hmm. uh you know one of the we've sort of called our brand purpose uh you know for the progress as build smart hmm. right so our philosophy is build smart which has sort of three parts to it one is the spirit of the new bharat hmm. because bharat's place in the world is to be a smart country hmm. building smart cities sure. uh, and and therefore we participate in that we shri cement also has a legacy of technological innovations hmm. there are things that we've done uh, to make great cement at great value uh, we also have some of the sort of great uh, sustainability record Uh, mm. you know like 56% of our energy uh, is is green energy we are six times water positive so through our smart manufacturing processes we are also facilitating uh, the development of the nation and finally through our products we have great value equation for our customers so all in all uh, our motto is build smart uh, to help the nation progress and for us to progress with the nation great thank you so much thanks for joining us today Thank you Shivani my pleasure. With that it's a wrap on story board this week you can catch all of our content on Facebook Twitter and YouTube thanks for watching we will be back same time next week see you soon.